Ang biyaya ng Diyos ay sumaating lahat. Welcome po sa Sunday Worship Celebration ng Christ Church Ortigas. At um, ito po ay pang dalawampu't isa na Sunday Worship Celebration online. Can you imagine we are in the 20 of uh, one uh, times na nag uh, held ng ating uh, worship celebration online and I hope and pray that uh, everyone will uh, still um, no, have that uh, um, an excitement in joining us in such a time as this. And so as we know more about the will of God in our life, we must um, uh, also uh, have that uh, uh, excitement all the time sa uh, tinatawag na presence ng Panginoon. Today, I will continue on to talk about our theme for the month which is real change. Ang ating uh, pinagkuhanan dito ay do, do, doon sa Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Ang sabi, do not conform any longer from the patterns of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Alam nyo po, Ang katotohanan dito is that um, it is very essential and it's very important for um, a person who is uh, um, with the Lord Jesus Christ to change. Very important po sa isang alagad. It is very important for a disciple to change. That is why, sabi nga natin, kapag ka pinag-usapan ay patungkol sa pagiging disciple, sabi ng Panginoong Jesus, I will make you. That means there should be changes in our life. Meron bang pagbabago simula nung tinanggap mo si Jesus? Kung wala pong pagbabago, ang katotohanan po niyan, lalo po tayong magbabad sa presensya ng Panginoon. Today, I will talk about real transparency. Alam niyo po, in, um, in our culture, mahirap magsabi o mahirap uh, sabihin ang, uh, ang totoong ikaw. Kilala mo ba kung sino ka? Alam mo ba kung anong ginagawa mo sa buhay? O mas kilala ka ng mga taong nasa paligid mo kesa sa'yo? The truth is that you cannot be a disciple if you are not trans transparent. That is for me. You know why? Because the fact remains that marami tayong tinatago sa buhay. At dahil marami tayong tinatago sa buhay, marami tayong itinatago pa rin at habang itinatago natin ito we are not very effective in our ministry that is why real change is very important and real transparency is very important kung ikaw ngayon pwede mo pwede naman sanang aminin mo sabihin mo sa kasama mo umamin ka na Oh, di ba? Kinakailangan natin umamin kahit na kung minsan o oh, madalas napakasakit aminin ng isang katotohanan. That's why it's called the truth. When we say the truth, sometimes or most of the times, it is painful. Today, I will talk about that and uh, how to be transparent in in um, in a way that uh, we can be as effective as those in the early church or the first church that we can be effective in our ministry our um, passage for today is may be found in second corinthians chapter 6 if you have your bibles with you i would like you to open and read with me in uh second corinthians chapter 6 i will start in verse 1 he says we then, as workers, together with him, also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in an acceptable time, I have heard you, and in the day of salvation, I have helped you. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We give no offense in anything that our ministry may not be blamed. But in all things we commend ourselves as ministers of God in much patience, in tribulations, in needs, in distress, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in sleeplessness, in fastings, 
by purity, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by sincere love, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we believe, as chastened and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. Join me in prayer. Lord God and Heavenly Father, we proclaim your holy name. We give you all the glory and honor because all glory and honor belongs to you alone. Today, O oh God, may your Holy Spirit teach us. Teach us your ways everlasting. Be with us right now and change our hearts and our minds that we can be um, in line with you, Lord, with your will. Be with us right now as one church. Bind us with your love. Give us your peace. Even now, Lord, be with us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I know um, ngayong um, mga pagkakataon na ganito, we have a lot of uh, worries. We have a lot of fear. And you need to understand that we, if we have fear, we don't know God. If we know God, therefore, we can adjust in, in such a way that fear will not be our concern. We fear about finances. We fear about our lives. We fear about our families. We fear about everything. But you need to understand that if you are with the Lord Jesus Christ, there's nothing to fear because God is in control. Just like as, as we uh, will talk about right now, it talks about transparency. It's okay not to be okay. And it's okay to say to people that you are not okay. Ang katotohanan, we are not that transparent. And um, it seems that if uh, we are not transparent, we can come to a point that we are miserable in life. Ang daming mga bagay na kinakailangan natin sasabihin, subalit na stuck lang sa ating mga puso, sa ating isipan, at patuloy tayo nag-worry, patuloy tayo nag-fear, at dahil dito nagkakasakit tayo, dahil dito hindi natin alam ang gagawin natin, dahil dito nagpapanik tayo. That is why I come to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ and rebuke that fear in you and rebuke that worry in you. Because the truth is that it is not good for us to worry because of the fact that Jesus is in control. That is the case when God said, Jesus said in Matthew 6, do not worry. That's a command from God. So today, I want you to eliminate that worry by being transparent enough to say that you are not okay. It's okay not to be okay. I, I know you heard those phrases before, but I want you to understand it very closely that in discipleship, it is very important for, for us to be transparent. The, the, the real matter here is that are you willing to be differentiated from the world in order to be used more effectively by the by the Lord. Willing ka ba na sabihin na, na uh, iba ako, iba ako, nagsasabi ako ng aking, uh, aking nadarama, nagsasabi ako kay pastor kung anong, kung anong nadarama ko. And the only way for us to help you is for you to be transparent enough to say what you are feeling it's it we are talking about vulnerability being vulnerable in life being vulnerable is not a sign of weakness however being vulnerable is a sign of strength you know why you are actually taking into 
uh, account that you are not okay and since you are not okay you need adjustment in life it is good for us to say that i'm not okay that is why i need to be developed yun ang katotohanan in the continuing arguments ag against the judaizers uh, um, who had infiltrated the Corinth church, Paul encourages the Corinthians to fully and freely receive God's reconciling work on the cross. Sabi niya dito, uh, we then as workers together with him also plead with you, uh, plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. In other words, sabi ni, ni Paul dito, do not mess up with the word of God. The first thing that we need to understand here is that Paul seems to be saying, listen up Corinthians, God's grace through the cross is important. So stop fooling around with mixing worldly values with godly ones. Ano connection nito doon sa sa ano sa pinag pinag-uusapan nating transparency? Meron naman yung connection. You know why? Dahil salita niya ni, ni Paul, he, he, he told the Corinth church is that kahit ano pang mangyari pagkakasama mo ang Panginoon at naniniwala ka doon sa tinatawag na salvation through Jesus Christ, salvation by grace and nothing can go wrong with you. Even though you're not okay. Medyo matapang pala talaga ang ano, ang dapat nating makita dito. Acknowledging the his love and sacrifice for them and encouraging them to let go of the worldly fleshly values that the false teachers brought with them. So, what does this means? Sabi doon sa verse 2 for he says in an acceptable time i have heard you and in the day of salvation i have helped you behold now is the accepted time behold now is the day of salvation he is quoting in isaiah 48 the jews knew that god would one day show his favor Paul tells them that this is the day that the coming of Jesus Christ is God's acceptable time and today is the day of salvation. That is why um, that is why you need to, to straighten your, your um, um, uh, teaching, your doctrine. You need to know which is, what is right and what is wrong in your doctrine. Kaya nga kinakailangan makita sa atin ang transparency. Makita sa atin na tayo ay vulnerable. Dapat makita sa atin na tayo rin ay naaapektuhan. Subalit hindi tayo papaapekto dahil kay Kristo. And that's the truth. That's the fact. That is the truth about all these things. Even though we are in deep trouble upon this pandemic, we need to understand that we must be calm enough and engaging enough to, uh, to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to this world because this is very important to this world. Look at the litany. In verse 5, ah, in verse 3 muna tayo, doon tayo sa verse 3, Paul did not want his actions to in any, any way distract from the gospel. Sabi niya doon, we give no offense in anything but that our ministry may not be blamed. So, it is the same thing to say na, alam mo, hindi natin kinakailangan gadalin lahat ng mga, ng mga, mga pagkakamali natin sa buhay. Lalong-lalo na yung mga offense natin. Lalong-lalo na yung mga bigat na pinagdadaanan natin. During the time that I accepted as um, um, the, uh, a minister of Jesus Christ, I went to people. And I told them who I am. And I told them I'm sorry. I told them to forgive me. There are a lot of people who forgive me, who already forgave me. And you know what? Huh? From time to time, I'm checking my heart and my mind. Am I aligned with the Lord? And I told the people, I'm sorry. It is hard to accept. It is really hard to accept the things that uh, that is um, uh, already done. Lalong lalo na kung nakakahiya yung mga bagay na yon, ang hirap tanggapin nun. So balit, Dapat nating maunawaan na tayo ay tinawag upang sa ganon 
ay maging maayos ang buhay natin. Nagbabago tayo. At ang tamang pagbabago ay makita sa atin upang sa ganon ay, makaya, ay ma- ma- makita ang Panginoong Jesus sa buhay natin. Without change, I tell you, it is impossible ah, to, to tell the people or to convince people about Jesus Christ. It is impossible. You know why? Nasabihin lang sa'yo, ikaw nga eh. Look who's talking. So, what does it mean when we talk about that? Ang sabi ni Paul, that our ministry may not be blamed. We cannot separate our ministry huh, to, or to ourselves. We cannot separate ourselves to the Word of God. We cannot separate us to God. Yun ang katotohanan. If you are an ambassador of Jesus Christ here on earth, that means you will be scrutinized by this world. And since you are being scrutinized by this world, you must straighten up. Stand firm. It's your faith. Have that kind of a life wherein you can say that, Oh, I admit I was wrong. I admit that. That's me. But that used to be me. But thank God, He already changed me. Meron one time, nakatanggap ako ng isang liham na, or email, na masasakit. Lahat ng masasakit na salita sinabi doon. Tungkol sa akin. Uh, obviously, itong taong ito is that um, niisip niya ay magre-retaliate ako. And the Holy Spirit is um, there and um, guide me into the Scripture. As I learn about um, being a true Christian, I replied to that letter and told that person, sabi ko, hindi mo nga ako kilala. Lahat yan totoo patungkol sa akin. Ang katotohanan, hindi mo ako kilala. Mas masahol pa ako dyan. Subalit, praise God, kahit nasa kabila ng mga ginawa ko, tinanggap niya pa rin ako. Hindi na sumulat yung taong yun sa akin. It is hard for me to accept. Just as I know that it's, it is hard for you to accept. However, it is important for us to accept our weaknesses because during those times, God's grace is stronger than our weaknesses. So let's continue. In verse 4, But in all things we commend ourselves as ministers of God in much patience, in tribulation, in needs, in distress, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labor, in sleeplessness, in fasting. So, what does it mean? It means that if you are a minister of Jesus Christ, if you, if you are in this ministry, simply natin, if you are in this ministry, huh, whatever it is that is happening in your life, shape up. You know why? Because the truth is that God is with you. You need to shape up. You need to do things. You need to 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 really really have that that conviction on doing what is right for the sake of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. In verse 5 it says the present it presents his physical circumstances difficult to say the least it's so difficult to say the weaknesses our trans, our present circumstances natutuwa ako meron akong mga um member ng church ng mga small group na patuloy na nagtatanong and i felt the love that is given to me throughout this uh, quarantine, throughout this pandemic. Lagi lang tinatanong, 
Pastor, kumusta ka? Pastor, kumusta ang family? Pastor, ano na nangyayari? So they keep on asking me those things. Pastor, may I pray for you? <laughs> Noong umpisa, nahihiya ko. Kaya lang, ang lagi ko sinasabi, ang hiya ay sa demonyo. Kaya nung uh, kinalaunan, nagsasabi ako, ano talaga ang nangyayari sa buhay ko at sa buhay ng aking pamilya? And same true, doon dapat sa buhay ng bawat isa. Kinikailangan makita sa atin na tayo ay um, iisa. Tayo ay is- isang pamilya, pamilya under ng Panginoong Jesus. In verse 6, He presents the transformation of His character into the image of Christ. Ano nakalagay dito? By purity, by knowledge, by long-suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by sincere love. Can you imagine if you have all these things? Nung isang araw, sabi ko sa kay, kay Lani, sabi ko, Ano kaya nung maglagay ako ng ano ng kasi meron ako nakita ah, may nakita akong relo. Gusto gusto ko. Lagay ko kaya sa Facebook ko. Nagbibiro lang naman ako. So bakit sabi nila ni ah, 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 wala kang patient. Wala kang long suffering. Hindi yan will ng Panginoon sa iyo. And and I know, I know that that is the truth. Search our heart. Ano ba talaga ang nangyayari sa'yo? Ano ba talaga ang nangyayari sa buhay mo? Verse 7, sabi doon, By the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right and on the left. What does it mean? It presents how the Holy Spirit works outwardly from His life. And the Holy Spirit is working! and continuously working for us, for our life. <laughs> hindi ka napabayaan ng Panginoon at hindi ka nakalimutan ni Lord. Tandaan mo palagi na tayo bilang, bilang uh, nasa ministeryo ng Panginoon, bilang lingkod ng Panginoon, bilang ginagawa ang mga bagay na kagustuhan ng Diyos, mapa sa iyong pamilya, sa iyong community, kahit saan pa man, tandaan mo, hindi ka pababayaan ng Panginoon. Because the Holy Spirit is in us. Kaya nga, ang sabi, Emmanuel, God with us. He is with you. And if you think that God abandon you, think again. Because He is your father. Ah? Ang earthly father, kayang i-abandon ang kanyang anak, pero ang, ang ama sa langit, hindi niya tayo kayang i-abandon. We are not abandoned because we have that father in heaven. That is why I strongly encourage everyone, ah? everyone who is listening at the sound of my voice, to consider Jesus Christ in their lives. Huwag mong hayaan na patuloy kang kinakain ng mga worry mo, patuloy kang kinakain ng fear mo, patuloy dumadating sa point na kung saan itinatago mo lahat yan at nabibuild up ang pressure sa puso mo at mamaya-maya ang nangyayari, nagkaroon ka na ng sakit. And that's true. The only way for us to have that healthy life and a life which is in the in line with God's uh, will is for us to be vulnerable, for us to be transparent so that people will help us in, in our situation. That's how it is. Kaya kailangan magkaroon tayo ng time for for us to to uh, say the things that we need to say to the people. Ang katotohanan is that ang sabi ng banal na kasulatan, if you confess to one another, it will bring healing. Confession not only about your sin, but also about your situation or your circumstances in life. Yun ang katotohanan dito. In verse 8, sabi dito is that by honor, 
and dishonor by evil report and good report as deceivers and yet true. In verse 8 are the results of those actions externally. For those who are perishing in the reaction was dishonor and accusation of being a deceiver. For those who responded to the gospel message, is it was glory and a good start. So, what does it mean for us? Having that vulnerability and transparency. Huh? Anong ibig sabihin nito? Ang ibig sabihin nito ay magkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag na righteousness. Righteousness will come. Because righteousness is given by God under the grace of Jesus Christ. It is freely given. Kaya nga tinatransform tayo ng salita ng Diyos. Tinatransform tayo ng presensya ng Panginoon. We are being transformed by our community which is the Christian community, the Christian family, the church. You see, the church is not a building. The church is this. We are the church. People are the church. That is why us being the church, we must love one another. We must reach out to each other and bear one another's burden. Kailan mo kinumusta ang kapwa mo? Kailan tayo nagkumustahan? Ang katotohanan, dapat tayong magkumustahan palagi dahil kailangan natin ang bawat isa. O nangungumusta ka lang kung may kailangan ka. Okay lang naman sana. Ha? Pero kapag ka naman wala ka ng kailangan, ikaw naman ang mangumusta. Di ba? Kailangan natin yon. Verse 9 and 10. As unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor and yet making rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. Verse 9 and 10 contain how the package is viewed. Though Paul was well known, the Cool and wise of this age could care less. This same would chasten Paul but not deter him. His grief was real when the flesh and his age prevailed. Yet he rejoiced in the ultimate victory of the Lord. He gave up so much in his age yet gave such riches to those around him who accepted the gospel to age to, and the age to come. He might appear to have nothing, no success, no impressiveness, yet in reality, he possessed everything because he had the key to life, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has the gospel. Ang tanong, nasa iyo ba ang gospel ng Panginoon? If you have the gospel of Christ, therefore, we need to be committed on that to that gospel and also, we need to be transformed by that gospel, the same gospel that we read and talk about. And that, my friend, will change us. Transparency is one of the key to a better and more effective minister in this mission of Jesus Christ. We must be transparent. How are you about transparency? How are you being being a, a, a soldier of Jesus Christ? Nagsasabi ka ba ng mga bagay ng weakness mo? O sinasabi mo lang yung mga magagandang bagay and yet you are actually eaten by fear and worries inside? Nabubulok ka ba sa iyong puso't isipan kahit na makita ka sa panglabas na okay ka naman? You know, the, the, the truth is that kap, ang pinakamahirap labanan na labanan ay yung tinatawang na silent war. Kung ano ang nangyayari sa puso at sa iyong isipan. I am more concerned about uh, people who profess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Because the truth is that if you have Jesus in your life and yet you worry and yet you have fear even in this pandemic then you better think again because 
maybe you need Jesus more rather than dwelling in on that situation of yours which is fear, which is worry in life. So napakahirap, di ba? Napakahirap kang um, ma- uh, tulungan kung itinatago mo ito. Kaya nga, we are called to be transparent. We are called to be vulnerable. Ang tanong, paano nga ba maging vulnerable? At ano nga ba itong vulnerable? Ang katotohanan, I can describe it. Ito, ito ang pagiging vulnerable. <laughs> Yung bang, uh, meron akong sasabihin sa iyo na kapag ka nalaman mo at nalaman ng buong mundo ay ikakasira ko. Okay na kanina, no? Pero nung nalaman, ano yung vulnerable? Parang, ah, basta, pass muna ako dyan. <laughs> I know about your concern, my friends, my brothers, my sisters in Christ. I know about your concern. However, I want you to be vulnerable. I encourage you upang sa ganun hindi mapulaan ang ginagawa mo dito sa bahay ng Diyos. Pag may sinabi ako sa iyo, may sinabi ka sa pastor, may sinabi ka sa, sa, sa small group leader, may sinabi ka sa kanila, tandaan mo ito, sinabi mo yon, ha, para sa iyo yun. Upang sa ganun, hindi na pwedeng ibato sa iyo nang kaaway ang mga bagay na yon sa paglilingkod mo sa Diyos. I know it's hard. That's why it is what we call radical transformation. That's why we call it real change. If you want to change for the better, you need to be transparent. Find someone in the church whom you can trust and tell that person to help you. And that's how it is to battle worry and fear. That's how it is to be very effective in the ministry of Jesus Christ. I've been here since 2006 when I became a pastor of a church. And I I tell you, I know it's hard to say everything there is to say about my life. However, the only way for me to be effective is to tell the people it's about accountability. My accountability to the people about the things that I am going through and I went through in the past so that I will be um, free on those things and I will not do it again for the future. Being effective with the ministry is not about the skill. Of course, skills is very important, but it's not about skills, but it's about integrity. It's about doing what needs to be done for the sake of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Today, I challenge you, I challenge you to be transparent, to be vulnerable. If you cannot say to the person um, in, in your house, why not give me a call? Why not give a call to, to the people in the church, to the, to the um, leaders of the church? Call them. Tell them about your life. We want to know more about your life. And I tell you, you will know about our life too. And for us, it's exciting. I know for you, it's scary. (laughs) But we are uh, trustworthy. You can trust us because we believe that your story is sacred, just like our story is sacred. So that is the challenge. May the Holy Spirit 
guide you. And may the Holy Spirit give you strength. May the Holy Spirit transform you. And may the Holy Spirit bind you with your love, with His love, and His grace, and His mercy. God bless you. Today I would like to celebrate the goodness of Jesus Christ when He was nailed on the cross. He redeemed us by dying on the cross. And He rose again from the dead. Sabi sa Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. You see, eternal life is a gift from God because of Jesus Christ. Because of the death and resurrection of Jesus. Without the resurrection, there is no eternal life. That is why it's important for us to celebrate. Even in the midst of, of this pandemic, we celebrate Jesus. So, take that uh, bread and take the juice with you. And let's celebrate the goodness of Jesus Christ. The grace of God. When he said, take this, this is my body. And take this cup, for this cup is my blood. You need to understand that there's nothing magical in these uh, emblems. But as we celebrate, we are thinking about Jesus Christ, His death and resurrection, and that love that is going on in our life. It's all about Jesus, and it's all about Him alone. So today, we celebrate through this communion. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your sacrifice. We believe that you died and rose again from the dead. And whoever believes in you shall not perish, but have eternal life. Thank you so much in Jesus' name. Let's eat the bread. And together the strength of the cup. Christ Church Ortigas believes that uh, um, God loves a cheerful giver because it is written in the scripture. And Jesus himself, he said, when you give, that's why Jesus expects us to give. The truth is that I believe that uh, um, as we give, we know that uh, we place the utmost importance in the kingdom of God. We are actually um, having this thinking of uh, investing in heaven. So we are investing more in eternal life rather than this temporal life that we have in this world. And if you give, uh, if you give, you are being, you are be being measured by this world of what you love in this life. Ano ang mahal mo? Saan, saan ka uh, nagbibigay? At kung ano yung, binibi, yung pinapahalagahan mo, yun ka. That is why I encourage you to give. It is good for your life. Pero sabihin mo, wala na nga kayong makain eh. Wala na nga kaming gano. Uh, wala, wala na. Nawala lahat dahil sa pandemic na to. I assure you, huh? You ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. It is not given because you did not ask. So ask. Today, 
I encourage you to give. I encourage you to give. However, to those who cannot give, I encourage you to ask. He is a good father, I tell you. He is our provider. So, as we give, give to CCO, our um, uh, bank account is uh, in, 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 the, in the screen. Um, thank you for those who uh, throughout this uh, pandemic is um, faithfully given their tithe and their offerings to us. And uh, I tell you, we have a lot of mission work at hand and we support especially those members who cannot, uh, um, who, who is in the midst of uh, uh, problems, in the midst of uh, 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 setbacks in this pandemic. We reach out to them through your support. So let us pray and let God bless us throughout this week. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you because you said in your word that when we give, that is why we give, Lord. It is expected of us to give because we believe that there is more in store for us. Today, dear God, may your strength be upon us to give. I rebuke the work of the enemy, dear God, in the lives of the people, especially to those who do not have. Lord, have, have mercy on them. Provide for them. Bless them, dear God. And thank you so much for CCO. Bless CCO more and more. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. CCO, it's offering time. Once more, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we hope and pray that we can connect with you throughout this week. We hope that uh, uh, everything is okay with you, but it's okay not to be okay. That is why I challenge you once more to be transparent and be vulnerable throughout this week. You can call us. You can call our leaders. You can um, connect with us through our Facebook. And if you, you're watching this in Facebook, don't forget to click the share button. Please do. Uh, we really need that. And hopefully people will know about Jesus Christ because of what you did. Again, thank you so much. God bless you. To anyone who's watching right now, if you want God come into your life, and declare that He is your only God. I want to pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe that you are the most powerful here on earth. I believe that you died on the cross and rose again from death. Help me to know you more deeper and to love you more wholeheartedly. Forgive me, my Lord. Forgive me for all of my sins. Make me clean again by your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God, for being my Savior. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Search me, I'm now caught up in your grave.